Hello, welcome to Garden Believer. I'm Sharika. So today I'm going to talk about me seeding grass seed in the winter time, I guess fall going into winter, um, in the area by my greenhouse. And you guys remember I had gravel at one time and I had mulch. I didn't like that, so I decided to go ahead and uh, put grass in that area. Yes, it's winter. I'm not sure if it germinates, but I did hear that rye grass germinates even in the 40s. I'm in Georgia, so it's around 50s. It been, the weather's been back and forth from 70s to 60s. So we would cross our fingers to see exactly if we have a little germination, if grass would grow right now. If not, at least I tried. So that's what I'll be working on now. If you guys also see, I have some boxwood. So I'm not gonna plant those today, but um, the middle, I wanna change out my walking path to maybe a brick walking path due to uh, when I had the pavers with the rocks around it, I fell, almost broke my back. So that had to go. That was not safe for me. Then I have grandkids um, that's often here with me. So I just want to make sure they stay as well. So you guys will be seeing that soon when I be doing um, a new um, pathway walk in that area. All right, so let's get to it. But be right before I decide to um, see that area, um, if you can see, I tested out that grass seed right here in this area to see how it looked. So that's how it looked. And it, it grew pretty fast. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this grass. And then we're going to get to seeding and go from there. Alrighty. So now I'm going to use, anyway, this is what I grab first. I, thought, I mean, everybody do their own way of doing it, but I wanted to go ahead and rake, rake up any debris and also kind of open up some of that loose soil so the seeds could go in the ground properly, um, making sure it's not like compacted with, because I have some areas that have super clay soil. And this is just how I do it, um, been successful with it. But, um, so everybody has their own way of seeding. But, I'm going to go ahead and rake up some of this debris. I've done it before, but we're not season with leaves. All right. See, you can see the pointy hands over there. It's going in the ground, so it's open up like little holes. So now I'm gonna grab my bigger shovel, I mean shovel, <laughs> my bigger rake and get the big bolt of the pile I just created up. All right. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me go ahead and get this up and then we'll go ahead and get the seating. Again, I didn't say that like five times. We're gonna get it fair for real.
right, so this side I got mostly all the debris up. So I'll go ahead and get my spreader. I wish I had the hand spreader, but I let somebody borrow it, so I didn't have time to go get it. So let me go ahead and get the seed. Okay, so the seed, again, is Oregon ryegrass. Um, I got from my local nursery, um, Johnson Nursery, up here in, in Georgia. Um, they also sell this at Ace Hotware as well, um, this rye mixture grass. So I tested it out, you guys saw why because the grass is so it does, done pretty well. Um, and we'll see if it's too late to trim it. So here we go. side over here and um, exactly what I did right there so I clean it up and then you guys will see a video coming up um, once they start coming up I'll let you know if it has or it hasn't so we know um, how good this winter rye grass is right now all right so thank you guys for joining me Please like and subscribe to my channel. I noticed I've been having a lot of views, but a lot of lack of subscribers. So it'd be nice if you guys subscribe. And I appreciate all that you do. I thank you guys for your honest comments. And have a great day. Bye-bye.